Back goes Tannehill. He steps up. He is in. They've got him. Sex number one. Hargrave. Fantastic job. Back goes Bill. He's hit. He's sacked. Again, it's Hargrave. Wentz pumps. And they've hit him again. There's number three. Javon Hargrave. They are killing the Washington offensive line. One of the top defensive linemen in all of football, and he got paid like it during free agency. Former Philadelphia Eagle and former Pittsburgh Steeler, and now current San Francisco 49er, Javon Hargrave. Javon, I think there's been a lot of years uh, have gone by mispronouncing your name. We've all been saying Javon for years. What finally took it for you to say, hey, my name is Javon, Javon Hargrave? Nah, I, I always correct people, but uh, once you once you mess it up about once or twice, I don't even say nothing anymore. So <laughs> it's, just, it's just been my thing. Uh, it's just it's just been going on my whole life, so I just kind of let it be. Well, I'm glad you said something. We're happy to say, Javon Hargrave, welcome to NFL Now. Here, Javon, you going from one of the top defensive pass rushing units in all of football last year? Really, you guys put up historical numbers with the Eagles, and now you're joining forces with the number one ranked defense last year in the San Francisco 49ers. How might your role differ here between the two teams? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. I just know I'm um, going into a great situation. So uh, I just, I'm going to just come and um, bring what I bring and uh, try to play some of my best football for the uh, 49ers and see where they take me. Well, what do you bring? Jay Vaughn in terms of adding to the mix with Nick Bosa, Eric Armstead, and some of those other great players with the 49ers? I think I just bring, uh, uh, I'm just a professional. Uh, I think I, I just come in, put my head down, and get to work. Uh, I don't really talk too much. I mean, I do talk. I talk a lot, but uh, <laughs> I don't really get too much to uh, be a distraction or anything. But I just go to work and um, try to, like I said, I'm just trying to play some of my best football for these years to come. Well, we heard one of your current teammates now, George Kittle, talk a lot before that NFC Championship game. You mentioned that Nick Sirianni used some of those comments as motivation before that game. Now that he's your teammate, do you discourage him from saying some of those comments going forward? I mean, I'm not going to change nobody from being them. Uh, uh, but... Uh, I, might, I might say a little bit. I may tell him what uh, kind of what we did uh, when he said some of the things that uh, he said. Um, they kind of motivated us. But, like, I, I, I mean, some people just talk junk. And some people, you know, that's, <laughs> that's, how, they, that's how they perform. That's that's their thing. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't discourage him from being him. Yeah, George Kittle, one of our favorite players in all of the NFL. We love his personality. One of the many great personalities in that locker room. You're coming from a locker room in Philadelphia that was full of great personalities. How do you think you fit into the locker room culture there? Oh, I think I'm gonna fit in great. Uh, like I said, I don't really uh, do too much. I I just crack jokes and uh, really get to work. I don't, I, don't, I ain't a uh, talk junk person, so I don't sit there and talk to nobody. Uh, I think I fit in pretty pretty good. Like I said, I just really want to come in and just um, get to work and um, you know bring what I bring to the table. Well, you're one of the new faces there with the 49ers defense. They have a new defensive coordinator in Steve Wilkes taking over for D'Amico Ryans. What do you know about Steve Wilkes and his defensive philosophy? Uh, one, I know he, uh, he he big on a 4-3, uh, and that's, that's one of the things that uh, really caught my interest um, when I was trying to pick some of the teams that I wanted to go to. And he, uh, he a Carolina boy, so we, we were sitting there chopping it up and talking about uh, some of the food spots down here in Charlotte and in North Carolina back home, so <laughs> we got a lot in common. Yeah, Max Barbecue, one of my favorite spots there in Charlotte in the Carolinas. Yesterday, your general manager, John Lynch, made some headlines saying that Brock Purdy earned the right to be QB1 there in San Francisco when he's healthy. Obviously, you prepared for Brock Purdy in that NFC Championship game. What did you see from the young 49er player? Man, we just know he 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 could really escape the pocket and uh, make plays with his feet. Uh, like before that game, I I didn't really know much about him, but when we were sitting there watching film, we just seen how hard it was for people to try to come bring him down and um, how he kept extending plays with his feet and getting out the pocket and throwing the ball downfield. So, like I said, we just we just know he he's he's a pretty good football player. And, um, like I said, I just can't wait to see him get them back and see uh, see how you do for us. Yeah, of course, Trey Lance, Sam Darnold also in the 49er quarterback room. You're not the only new member to the NFC West. Your former defensive coordinator 
there with the Philadelphia Eagles, now head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. What kind of head coach are the Cardinals getting there with Jonathan Gannon? Man, he, he's a players coach. Um, uh, I think every 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 week he come up to the players and ask them, you know, just ask them some some personal things about their life, or even for football purpose, he just he come talk to us and ask us what we like and what we want for this week. Um, so he's just somebody you can really talk to as a coach. And um, I think I got I got some players that I played with over there and told them they getting a real good dude and um, a good coach, and he just uh, he gonna be a great fit for AZ. Harry Carson. Donnie Shell, Pro Football Hall of Famers from South Carolina State, Shaq Leonard, of course, of the Indianapolis Colts, yourself carrying on that tradition of those proud South Carolina State alum. How much pride do you take in that and representing the HBCUs out there in the NFL? I mean, that's a big, that was a big thing when I was coming out. Uh, you know, some of, some of the greats uh, like Harry and uh, Robert Corsets, uh, they kind of told me uh, I had I, like basically it was on me if if I did it bad it was gonna make a bad look for South Carolina State so I kind of carried that with me when I got into the league and like I said I just they just kind of um, helped me become who I was and just uh, made that work that it so much harder for me and uh, I'm just blessed to be able to represent them and you know just put on for my HBCU. Hey, that's a lot of pressure there, Javon. Nah, it ain't, it ain't no pressure. It's, it's something I love. You know, when you love doing something, it ain't really too much pressure for you. Just uh, when you really putting in the work and um, you putting in the work, it's really no pressure. It's kind of easy for you. It's just, like I said, you just put your head down and get to work. Well, you've responded in every way. We can't wait to see what you do with the 2023 49ers. Javon Hargrave, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you. Um, thank you all for having me.